Hi everybody, I'm Cincinnati-based illustrator John McCoy. This is my 87th daily sketch of 2020. And that image that you see there is the design for St. Peregrine. It's a commissioned work of art that I'm working on and it's the beginning of the design. This is my first day sketching this illustration and it's gonna be a four by six foot with, a, with the frame. Um, but here's just kind of the process of bringing that design or composing that design. There's a lot of math involved. There's a lot of pre-measurements of the space that it's going to be going in. Um, it's going to be going in a church in Michigan. And um, there's a certain space designated in the church for it. So I have to know all those measurements. And then um, basically for to, to get a platform for myself to sketch on, I, I lay out all those measurements exactly to scale by converting the foot to inches so that I can draw it in this little sketchbook. And it's on tone paper, which affords me as much leverage as I can value-wise. If I want to add whites or lights to it, it'll be easier to do so. Then you see me laying down the, the compositional grid, which I tend to do with a lot of pieces to give guidelines for the rule of thirds and everything in, in the composition. And then I'm considering a kneeling figure and that the figure will still be life-size, but because of kneeling, so I'm, I'm looking up a lot of different resources for that, like the height of, um, St. Peregrine was an Italian man, so I'm, I'm looking at the height of, average height of Italian men, and ages and stuff like that, and then what ratio, what percentage of the body is made up of the height from the top of the knee to the head, so that I can determine a average kneeling height uh, and then laying in the, the Loomis grid over that with standard eight heads where the bottom of the knees end exactly at six heads, making the body six heads tall. And then a certain measurement fitting that in the composition, fitting into the thirds. You can see me looking, flipping the figure around because uh, I want the figure facing the front of the church. Um, and being illuminated by a figurative light in that sense. So I'm just flipping that, hit the figure around, and now I'm doing a little bit of basic rendering to try to understand the lights. Um, and the, the stance is all inspired pre in advance because it's uh, specific to the character of St. Peregrine and, and what that will mean for the composition. Now I'm kind of shading in the background, adding a pillar, um, then adding bread and wine as sim symbols and flowers as symbols, and then enhancing them in Procreate. You can see her adding color and light. That's the first iteration. We'll see what happens as the piece progresses. Thanks for watching. Um, please hit that subscribe button as always. Um, enjoy this video and God bless you guys.